we're here at the uh, Luxury Interactive Conference in New York. Uh, I'm Kelly Hushin, the Online Content Manager for Worldwide Business Research, producers of the event. We're here with Alexander Wilson, the co-founder of Guild Group, and uh, we want to talk to her a little bit about the site and about the successes she's had and the challenges she's had. So thank you for being with us today. Um, so I guess I'll start by asking, when you decided to launch Guild Group, what was your concept? Uh, how did you know e-commerce was ready for such a thing? And uh, just tell us a little bit about the site. Sure. Well, we launched Guilt Group in November 2007, and the concept when we started was to bring the exciting New York City sample sale online. So making fashion available to our members across the United States at amazing prices, usually about 70% off retail, and doing it in a fun and exciting, innovative platform. So our sales generally last only 36 hours. Um, so we, we train our customers to log on at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, and they only have 36 hours to shop. So it's very exciting, and the best merchandise sells out very quickly. Great. So what has changed about the site since you launched it? Uh, what goals did you have in place then, and how have those goals evolved? A lot has changed since we launched uh, two and a half years ago. We um, initially started focusing just on women's, and since then we have um, moved not only to women's fashion and accessories, but gone into men's, also home decor, beauty. Um, most recently we launched a platform called Jet Setter, which is for luxury travel, and we've even expanded internationally. We launched Guilt.jp uh, in Japan, so we have a Japanese offering as well. Wow, wonderful. And are you going to continue the international launches? We're always looking at uh, new ideas, new markets. You know? Sorry, <laughs> we have some uh, guests passing by, but that's how it works. Uh, okay, so you're thinking about continuing that. We're, we're always investigating new opportunities, whether it's other verticals, um, other international opportunities. But um, right now, I, I would say we definitely have our hands full in, in all the launches that we're, that we're currently working on. Right. So what sets you guys apart from some of your competitors? I know there's been a lot of sites that have launched um, out there for fashion and for different things, you know. Um, what, what do you think the reason is why so many sites have come up and what it makes Guilt Group different? Well, at Guilt Group we're focused on a number of things. We have two types of customers, our actual members who are the shoppers, so we always want to provide them the best customer experience that we can, and we also have our brand partners. So we work with, at this point, over 700 brands across all the different categories I mentioned, and we really want to portray them in the best possible light. We um, go through tremendous uh, pains to, to invest in our photography. Um, we use models. We have uh, stylists and makeup people to um, really make the, the merchandise that we're selling beautiful and to also tell the story of the brand because a lot of the brands that we sell to our members, maybe they're known within the New York City fashion circles, but they're not necessarily known throughout the country. Mm, interesting. So what are some of the challenges then that you face with some of these brands or with some of your e-commerce models? Are there technologies out there that you wish were better or are there things that have really helped you? What kind of, um, you know, hurdles have you had to overcome? Well, there are always challenges when you have a, a startup business and when you experience hyper growth as we have at Guild Group. Um, one challenge that, that I face is that we simply can't work with every single designer that, that wants to work with us. Um, sometimes because they don't have enough inventory available and, and we now have millions of members shopping on our site so we need to make sure that the customer will have a good experience and that there are enough units per, per style that we're featuring. Also because our photography is very special, uh, it is expensive so it has to make financial sense. Um, in terms of technology, when we're featuring a very popular brand, uh, especially for the first time, there can be a tremendous load on the site. And we go from having very low traffic before a sale starts to having traffic levels that are comparable to an Amazon at around 12 noon Eastern Standard Time when our sales start. So uh, technologically, that's, that's a unique challenge that our site faces. Interesting. And what, just as a final question, what would you... Uh, what advice would you give to someone who is wanting to start an e-commerce business, um, you know, whether it's a luxury business or a fashion business or not? I mean, is there something that you might say, well, look, here's my biggest piece of advice for you? <laughs> um, well, there, there are many things that I could say, but I think um, we've found that having a business that is very viral has been incredibly um, 
important to, to the growth and the success of our business. Um, we, since, since we launched, we offer our members an incentive to spread the word to, to their friends. If they, if they invite a friend the first time that friend shops, um, you'll get a $25 credit. And um, we think that's worked really well, especially in regional markets where we might not know who the appropriate members would be, but, um, but someone certainly knows who their, who their friends would be who would be excited about amazing deals and, and, and merchandise you can get on our site. So I'm a big fan of viral, viral businesses. Um, taking advantage of social media, which is often free, I think is fantastic. And um, you know, make sure you start a business with a great team. I think that's a really important team that, that you trust that, that will be able to stand the test of times because test of time because um, there definitely will be bumps and challenges along the way of any startup. For sure. So great team and spread the word. Alexandra, thank you so much. And uh, she's going to be at the show today, so we'll check back in and see how it goes. And uh, we thank you again. Thanks for having me.